All right, it's 10 o'clock, let's get started. Well, welcome everyone um, to another weekly edition of the Long Coffee Break. I'm your host, Mike Jacobs, and helping me out today is Dan, Don Cameron, I'm sorry, with the Yaskawa. And we're gonna go over the new offering, uh, the new uh, narrow UL type 12 offering that Yaskawa has to offer. So with that, I'm gonna let Don take it away. Great, hey, thanks Mike. Appreciate you guys having me on. It's good timing. We just launched a new product on October 20th, and we're going to talk about that here. And uh, we call it the narrow solutions. And so uh, UL type 12 narrow solution. We've had narrow uh, bypass and configured solutions and UL type one for quite some time, about 10 years. But we've seen a trend in the market, and we developed a product to, to fill that niche. So let's, let's uh, take a look at it. So before we do that, just a real quick reminder, if people don't know what the different enclosure types are, UL type one is the most common and it protects against falling dirt, the limited amount of falling dirt. UL type 12 is a little bit better. It has the dust and dripping liquids, corrosive liquids even, uh, resistance. And UL type 3R, that type of enclosure is what we use on roofs or anything that's outside. And that can actually, uh, is required to to function even if there's ice uh, all over the enclosure. So the two on the left there, type one and type 12, those are always indoor only, and type three R by the virtue of its cost is uh, only used outdoors. So we noticed a trend uh, a few years ago where certain applications and certain situations were pushing more towards UL type 12. Traditionally, it only been about 10% of the market and always been a drive in a box. And in cooling tower applications, and data center applications that we see a lot of. It's a really growing uh, uh, application for us. And in new construction also, UL type 12 is becoming more specified. It was something that was required and we could do it and put a drive in a box and it worked great. In the case of cooling towers, there's just more generally uh, moisture in the air. So it makes sense. Data center, same type of thing. There's a lot of things that could be dripping uh, from various places in a new construction the construction cycles have been protracted out. So people are deciding to, hey, we want to protect those drives. People might be putting drives in the building even before it's done. So the UL Type 12 helps provide more protection against that as well. So traditionally, a UL Type 12 solution is large, right? And you might have a lot of other things in that cabinet and you may or may not need all that room that cabinet has. And about 10 years ago, um, the industry for uh, HVAC and buildings kind of switched to a narrow UL type one solution shown there on the right. And it's about five to nine inches wide, depending on the size. And the traditional UL type 12 solution for a drive could be anywhere from 18 to 25 inches wide, which is great. We still sell those. We're going to continue to sell those, but if you don't need all the extra room in the cabinet then it was uh, it just takes up more space than it needs to and it costs more. So uh, as I said, we just launched uh, back on October 20th, a new suite of products for UL type 12 narrow, which includes the electronic bypass and configure product and also a new disconnect switch product, which has no fuses. And these are generally about three times more narrow than the old UL type 12. Let's take a look at the UL type 12 narrow bypass. So this slide is showing on the left, the UL type one, which has been around for a long time. And compared to the right, the UL type 12, you can see there's some custom uh, work on that right side there for that bypass panel. Angled back, it's all metal, very solid piece. The UL type 12 only goes up to 40 horsepower uh, compared to UL type one, which is 60. So if you need something bigger than 40, we, we do have to go to a traditional style box. And right now we are the only ones in the market to have a narrow UL type 12 electronic bypass solution. Same options as the UL type one, you can get it with three contactor, you can get it with, or get it with service switch, or you can just get two contactor and get it with circuit breaker. All the things that we have and our other um, class leading products are available in this version as well. It's also a Bluetooth keypad. 
There is a small difference dimensionally between the UL type one and the UL type 12. It's very nominal. It's like six, nine for the UL type one versus 7.7 .7 for the type 12, very small difference. And then the larger size, it's even a little bit uh, less large. So it's not a physically a drop in, but the form factor is very, very similar. And then Yaskawa, we call the, uh, the product that doesn't have bypass, but has fuses and, and or circuit breaker, uh, UL, we call it configured. So we have a UL type 12 narrow configured product. Again, exclusive in the market, showing here the picture between a UL type one and a UL type 12. This also goes up to 40 horsepower. And the same options that are available for UL type one are available here. Uh, we do actually have a, uh, a new multi-protocol Ethernet card, which also launched on the 20th. So if you're interested in learning more about that, I'll um, be happy to talk about that. But um, that just also came out, the Ethernet BACnet IP card. Again, small difference in dimensions for the configured product, but a very, very uh, close in size. And finally, there's a new flavor of solution here. So we have a UL type 12 with integrated disconnect switch. This is a very compact package. It's just a disconnect switch. There is no fusing available on this. If you need fusing, you can use the configure product, but it is 100K AIC SCCR rated, uh, very compact design. Uh, and this goes up to uh, 75 horsepower. So that's kind of a, quick overview of our new UL Type 12 narrow products. If you have any questions, you know who to call at Long, and uh, we're very happy to have these released, and uh, we're, already, we're already taking orders, so we're pretty excited about it. Awesome. Thanks, Don. Well, we're going to keep it uh, short and simple this week, and um, this week's prizes are $100 Bonefish Grill gift card, which I highly recommend the Bang Bang Shrimp is amazing there. A uh, Yeti Rambler half gallon jug and a can of whip ass socks. Um, this week's winner is gonna be, and I apologize if I uh, botch your last name, is Tristan Binna with Energy One Solution, or Energy One. So um, that being said, uh, please join us next week with Josh Likes and Art Baroff with Friedrich to discuss uh, the VRB VRP product line and um, why it's the place to be. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this and I appreciate everyone's time this week.